Hi, I'm Houston DWI lawyer Eric Benavides. Now I know that if you've been charged with a DWI that you're probably nervous and you're probably wondering what the next step is. Well, the first thing we need to do is try to save your driver's license. In the state of Texas, you have 15 days from the day that you're arrested to apply for what's called an ALR hearing. If we do not apply for this hearing, then you'll lose your license automatically following the 40th day after your arrest. Now, after I request this hearing for you, the, the next step is our first court date. Now, the first court date is typically pretty quick. What I typically do is I fill out some paperwork letting the judge know that you have an attorney and I speak to the prosecutor. I speak to the prosecutor and request them to provide me with all the evidence they plan to use on this case. Now, what type of evidence do we typically see in a DWI case? There will be a police report. Now on this police report, we'll be able to read what the officer's observations are and the reasons that they ended up arresting you for driving while intoxicated. We'll also always have a video. The video is very important because it gives a prosecutor and a potential jury an insight into how you looked that day, what you said, and how you performed on the sobriety tests. Now, depending on your type of case, we might also have a blood test result or a breath test result. If there was some sort of accident, there might be a 911 call. And there's times where there's witnesses who provide witness statement. Now this evidence is gonna determine how long your case lasts. People always ask me, well, how long should I expect to be going through this process? And the answer is, well, it depends. It depends on how long the evidence takes to come in and it also depends on our plan of action. Now a case that we fight all the way to trial is gonna last longer than a case that ultimately ended up getting dismissed or a case where we end up working some sort of agreement out with the state. Now typically it takes about three to five months for all the evidence to come in. Once we get everything, we'll sit down together, we'll go over all of our options, and we'll make a determination on what is the best thing to do for you in your particular situation. Now, if you're looking for a DWI lawyer, give me a call. I have years of experience, I've represented hundreds of individuals, and I know what it takes to be successful. I'd be happy to sit down with you in my office, go over the facts of your case, go over your particular scenario, and make a determination on what would be the most effective defense for you.